Okay, so here he gives you the index of refraction of 1.34, right? And uh, he gives you the lambda zero, and he says normally reflected light, and what's the thickness, yeah? Uh, let's see, the refractive index of the soap film here is greater than that of air, right? So, uh, and it's surrounded by air, so it's in the middle. So a bright spot, if you're getting, if this appears bright, to appear bright, what's the condition for the bright, in the reflected light? Uh, it's uh, D cosine theta T has to equal 2M plus 1 over 4 lambda of the film. And uh, so this is normally reflective index, yeah? So that means theta t is about zero. And uh, the lambda, the wavelength, is uh, the one in vacuum divided by the index of refraction. Um, and so uh, if we take the one m equals zero, right? Uh, that's gonna give us the minimum thickness. So then we have uh, d cosine zero equals uh, lambda zero over four n, and just plug in the numbers. So, uh, what's the wavelength? Six thirty-three nanometers divided by four times the index of refraction is one point thirty-four. And so we get uh, plugging this on the calculator, you get oh, one point thirty four. Hundred and eighteen nanometers. The answer is hundred and eighteen nanometers. Yeah, that's what the I derived this elsewhere in my videos. If you need to see where that came from, uh, you can watch previous videos. Here, I just used it as is.